If you're anxious and you have GI symptoms, most certainly if it's a diarrhea constipation picture where you're rotating between the two, sometimes having regular bowel movements, it's going to be called IBS and you're just going to, you know, you're going to be treated, you know, very just symptoms only for both of those conditions when they're really connected and by altering the gut microbiome by changing your diet and adding in foods that will enhance a normal balanced functioning non-inflamed gut we can actually improve your anxiety as well okay what you just said was pretty radical here right yeah that we used to think when we went to medical school we were taught that people with irritable bowel syndrome it was caused because they were emotionally unstable yeah but they were anxious and they had emotional issues and that's what was causing the irritable bowel what you're saying is the opposite what you're saying is that we've learned now and this is well documented science we've learned now that if you have irritable bowel syndrome meaning you have bad bugs in your gut you have inflammation in your gut you have leaky gut you have food sensitivities that this causes inflammation in the brain so that basically an irritable bowel yeah. causes an irritable brain and that is actually the direction of the problem. And right. yes, of course, if you're stressed, you can you know have gut issues too because it's a bi-directional system. But it's important to understand that it, you know we we mislabel a lot of these things that have to be kind of destigmatized from being emotional problems to being mm -hmm. physiological problems. <laughs>